Hi, my name is Blake Burdack and I'm a senior at Barton College here in Wilson, North Carolina. For my senior thesis, I looked at the impact of the number of enrolled credit hours has on student levels of happiness. The background literature um, of this study did not directly look at the relationship between workload and mental health. Other studies looked at more of the environment or pre-existing mental health conditions and how those two variables can impact academic performance as seen in Zippor and Fagonia. And uh, as with that in mind, there have also been a variety of other studies looking at how mental health impacts different uh, aspects of an individual's life, including their ability to perceive their own levels of happiness. So uh, while there has been no direct uh, research been conducted in regards to how workload can negative or positively impact uh, an individual's ability to be happy. Um, there have been studies uh, look in the space looking at different people's uh, academic performance based on their mental health uh, or prior existing mental uh, disabilities. So for my uh, study, what I did, I, I comprised a survey and my survey was comprised of three different sections. The first section wanted to get information about the person partaking in the survey. Um, everything from their gender, to credit hours enrolled in, if they're a student athlete, if they're a part of clubs or organizations here on campus, um, things like that, because I wanted to be able to use these uh, bits of individual information in order to group people and perform more post hoc analysis, because I think that there's a lot more here than just simply uh, individuals workload, whether that be academic workload or workload from other sources, such as uh, workload to perform on uh, in the athletic space or in other spaces, maybe in Greek life and such. So that was the first part of my of my survey. My second part of my survey uh, was questions comprised or taken from the Oxford scale of happiness. And this is a questionnaire uh, that has been used uh, for a while now and is pretty credited in terms of measuring levels or allowing an individual to uh, dive deep and present themselves, uh, self-perceive their own happiness and then puts that individual or give that, that individual's level of happiness on a scale, on a numbered scale. And uh, for the third section, that same concept was given to my perceived stress survey. Uh, which uh, was also taken um, from a from another primary survey that has been accredited for a number of years. And uh, it does follow the same methodology as the Oxford Scale of Happiness. Uh, an individual uh, will then self-perceive their level of stress and regard, depending on their answers to particular questions, then they would uh, be given a particular score at the end of their survey. And that score will be then be able to use to compare and contrast to other people. So, uh, I had 113 people uh, be able to respond to my survey, majority of those being male slightly and uh, an overwhelming majority of those being freshmen. So I hypothesized that uh, those who were enrolled in more credit hours would record uh, higher levels of stress and therefore lower level of happiness. So uh, my paradigm around this was that workload would negatively impact stress uh, the more workload, uh, the more stress that individual should be under. Now, uh, this uh, was strictly looking at uh, credit hours as being a measurement of the workload. So I did not look at if a particular course um, had a more notorious history of being uh, more difficult, such as uh, anatomy, which may, which is stereotypically known to be a difficult course, um, as opposed to other courses that may not be as difficult. Uh, but uh, I, so I definitely used credit hours as a measurement as a number of classes enrolled. Um, and uh, finally, I did look, another part of my hypothesis was that the more stress would result in lower level of happiness. So I did kind of identify or try to hypothesize an existing relationship here between stress and happiness. So what I found was that there was no relationship between stress and credit hours. As you can see in this graph here, um, as the increase in credit hours, uh, as there is an increase in credit hours, there is no significant decrease or increase in the level of, uh, of stress. And this same uh, uh, result was found in a correlation of happiness and credit hours. There was no signs showing that those who are enrolled in more credit hours were happier 
um, or those who enrolled in less credit hours uh, were, were happier also. So there was no existing relationship uh, between uh, stress and credit hours or happiness and credit hours. With that being said, I did run another correlation finding to see if there was an existing relationship between happiness and stress. And uh, this uh, came out pleasantly, surprisingly uh, neat, because uh, as you can see, there is a, a nice negative correlation here, uh, almost as the data is very stacked together, um, flowing to the bottom right corner of the graph here. So this graph clearly shows that there is a really existing relationship between happiness and stress. Those who experience higher levels of stress are more likely to experience lower levels of happiness. So with this in mind, it was able to, this kind of changed the, the way I was able to look at the data and have, okay, so if one data impacted, um, of one uh, variable impacted either stress or happiness, then there is a more than a likely chance that the, uh, the variable would in turn impact uh, the other variable that wasn't being measured, whether that being happiness or stress at the time. So I then turned away from correlations and began to run, run some ANOVAs. And uh, I first looked at uh, happiness in student athletes and if they were significantly more happier than non-athletes. And this uh, came out surprisingly well also because athletes are significantly here on Barton College, happier than non-athletes. Um, uh, with Barton College being a small division two school, there is a high population of student athletes here on campus. So uh, the, it's good to know that um, the, the well-being of these athletes are being taken care of. As you can see that there is a uh, right, right above uh, significance here with, uh, with my p-value in the bottom right corner. I then wanted to look at, okay, what about all the other students who may uh, may not identify as student athletes? Um, I do acknowledge that there will be overlap in student athletes who also participate in outside obligations, maybe like they are part of a group such as uh, of Greek life or maybe part of a club. But this was also reassuring to see that those who are, in, uh, who are engaged in other obligations outside of ac the academic space or student or athletic space, that they also report higher levels of, um, of happiness than those who are not uh, a part of uh, of the of any other obligations on campus. So that obligations being clubs and um, or, or, or things of that nature. I then went in to see if uh, gender had looked to play a role. And um, while this graph may be a bit misleading, there is there is no significance here in, in uh, of no relationship between stress and gender. Of, or despite there being a, a strong, overwhelming participant uh, being male, um, it is. I do remind you that a lot of these participants are, are female. Uh, sorry, are, are freshmen. So um, while there may be higher results or higher levels of stress recorded overall, uh, there is uh, still not a big enough gap to indicate that there is significance between the genders. And the same thing can be said for happiness. Um, the, there is no significant uh, gap between the genders showing that one gender is just straight up happier than the other. So that's kind of good that uh, the population on Barton College are kind of maintaining a, uh, a strong medium of happiness between the genders. So rounding all up my findings, um, I did find that there was no evidence to support my hypothesis. My original hypothesis being that uh, those who enrolled in more credit hours would experience higher levels of stress and uh, obviously there's no relationship between credit hours and stress or credit hours or happiness. So uh, with that in mind though, uh, there is a re existing relationship between stress and happiness. So if one uh, particular individual began to feel stress or uh, yeah, began to feel stress from a particular assignment, that could negatively impact their levels of self-perceived happiness at that time. Um, same for, uh, existing uh, for an outside uh, variable that is away from the academic space, maybe uh, something that could directly impact an individual's levels of happiness, then that in turn would cause more stress for them uh, individually. And finally, uh, those who are enrolled in more obligations on campus will have higher levels of happiness. And, that, and that's regardless of uh, what kind of obligation it is. That can be sport if they work on an on or off campus job, 
um, if they're a part of a sorority or a fraternity, and as well as the multitude of clubs we have here at Barton College. So here is my reference slides. Thank you very, uh, very much for listening to my presentation and uh, have a good evening.